Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading for you guys. So let's see what is showing up in this particular reading. I do marathons on the weekends for Pisces because I feel like the Pisces collective goes through a lot in general. And the closer you zoom in on all these things, the more we are in separate little tiny groups. Um, and some readings will resonate with some and other readings will resonate with others. And by doing as many readings as I can on the weekends, which I love to do, um, I think that everybody can find that perfect reading that is meant for them. If you would like to uh, be a part of the channel, I would love for you to be here. I invite you. You can go ahead and click on that subscribe button to become a part of the Pisces Club. And if you're a current subscriber, thank you so much for being here. And thank you especially to all of those of you who have clicked on the join button and are now a sponsor of the channel, in essence bringing in monthly donations to support the channel. It is deeply and absolutely appreciated, you guys. All right, universe, angels, guides, what is going on? What advice, relevant information, confirmations does Pisces need to hear right now? First card showing up, the Ace of Swords, Pisces. All right, so if you're experiencing a lack of clarity within you and another person or you in your life, there's a big chance that there's going to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation or, you know, it is a sword, but I don't know. I feel like heart-to-heart -heart conversation and bringing a lot of information to the surface about how you have been thinking feeling and how the other person is thinking and feeling it's like there's going to be an important talk for some of you for others of you it's going to be sort of like an aha moment of awareness a moment that comes in and it's just like whoa i'll never be able to see anything in the same way again or a specific situation in the same way again because it's a sense of clarity that comes in Nine of Swords is showing up as the challenge. So before this clarity hits, before you feel that relief, you know, of knowing exactly what is going on, you may go through a phase of actually the complete opposite. Overthinking, getting very anxious, um, you know, having all these thoughts racing in your mind, especially when you're about to go to sleep, when you have some quiet time. Everything that you feel like is incomplete comes up to your head. What are you going to do about this? How are you going to address that? Um, your to-do list, you know. It may become very overwhelming. But that is the pre-phase to this clarity. So if you are in that overthinking phase and it's driving you a little crazy, don't worry about it. It will not last. And it is ultimately going to guide you to this sense of clarity. In your recent past, you've got the star. So Pisces, recently there has been some kind of wish fulfillment that you have manifested. Something that you wanted came in. Something that you craved showed movement forward. Maybe it came in completely to its full potential or maybe you started to recently see like, wow, this is actually coming together. This is actually, you know, that dream that I had, that wish that I prayed upon a star for is coming together, it's, it's manifesting. And that could even be a trigger of this anxiety, you know? Eight of Cups, some of you guys may be thinking about walking away from certain things, okay? Now, for some of you, this could be walking away from a connection. Maybe this conversation brings in a lot of clarity that you needed to make the decision to walk away, okay? Other, other messages that could come in here would be that you're choosing to walk away from negative tendencies and habits that are holding you back, preventing your highest dreams from coming together. 
some of you guys perhaps could be even thinking about walking away from a job because there was an opportunity that came in recently that you really wanted to manifest and it came in and now you have to have this conversation of leaving something behind with a person and it brings you a lot of anxiety it's crazy as i said that the way in this resonated with me because i'm a pisces just sort of popped <laughs> i'm gonna say it because maybe some of you are going through the same thing so this new place this is my new apartment and it is definitely obviously my wish fulfillment and it recently just came together and now i have to have a conversation with the landlord of a place i was renting to give that up before the contract is actually finished and it gives me a lot of anxiety so <laughs> you know that's kind of like the, the pattern that i'm seeing here you choosing to walk away from something because a wish has been fulfilled. And now you have to have a conversation that may be difficult. King of Cups. All right, Pisces. So what the universe wants you to know is that you can definitely tap into emotional maturity here. You have the maturity that you need to make things happen in the way that you need to make them happen, okay? Um, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy as well. You are expected to be very mature from this point on in your life. Eight of Pentacles in your future. So there's going to be a lot of hard work, Pisces. But look at the smile on this lady's face. This is the kind of hard work that is deeply appreciated. The kind of hard work that you're grateful for. Waking up every morning and saying, thank God I have a job. Thank God I have so much to do. Thank God I have these opportunities to serve this person, to serve these clients or this purpose in general. All right, so it's, it's very beautiful. Lots of hard work though. You're gonna be very busy, but you're gonna be doing it with a smile on your face. What a good feeling. What a good feeling. You are being represented by the Two of Wands here. So this is letting me know that you're on the right path, Pisces. You're doing exactly what you need to be doing, okay? You are, you have made a choice, and that choice is a very positive one, and it is the path that ultimately the universe wanted you to land on. <laughs> so you are well on your way to that hard work, to that success, to that higher version of you. Very exciting, Pisces. In your environment, you've got the tower. I love that this energy is showing up in the environment and not inside of you. Because this is letting me know that there's massive changes going on all around you, okay? All around you. Sorry guys, I just got interrupted by my patio furniture almost flying out of my terrace. <laughs> um, this feels like a hurricane, you guys. What the hell? Like, I'm looking out the window. It's like all the furniture was moving like it was going to fly out. All right. So, coming back to the reading. Oh, well, that's just great. A chair broke. We don't have practice about this kind of stuff in Panama, honestly. I'm sorry guys, I'm very distracted. I apologize. I'm honestly a little freaked out. We don't get hur hurricanes here, so don't worry about it. It's just strong wind, but particularly strong. <laughs> All right, coming back, coming back to the reading, coming back to the reading. Let's see what your hopes and fears are, Pisces. Hopes and fears. We got the Four of Cups. So there is a possibility, Pisces, that you have a hope, a very strong hope, for an offer to, to come in. And you may also have a hope to want to take this 
But there's a possibility that you are going to actually reject someone or something that has been offered to you and that can be very awkward and you may actually feel very resistant, even anxious and fearful to reach that moment in which you're going to have to say no to someone, okay? To someone or something. For some of you, it could even be like a job. Because you got a better job, you're going to have to leave an existing job. And having that conversation with a boss may be very awkward. <laughs> it may not be what you're obviously hoping for or looking for. King of Wands is showing up as your outcome card. So you could be ultimately having a fire sign in your future. This could be an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius, or someone with um, strong fire in their chart. Whether it's their sun sign or their ascendant or, you know, other placements. Guys, the birds can't even fly. <laughs> the wind is so strong that the birds are flying in place. This is nuts. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, you may have a fire sign in your future. You may actually also step into a very passionate energy as well. Very strong motivation, very strong energy, very strong passion to move you forward. Especially a Leo is showing up here because we do have the lion in this card. I think that you're going to definitely be mastering your energy, your emotions, and allowing that to bring in a higher sense of balance in the work that you're doing in your life. Alright, so this is what I have for you guys. Honestly, I got very distracted. I'm still feeling kind of distracted, so I'm going to leave it here and probably tap into another reading a little bit later. Um, I don't know if this is like normal for this area I'm living in right now. I just moved. <laughs> I'm in the jungle and the wind is so strong that it seems like all the freaking trees are going to fly away. So I'm going to deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.